Here's our Scrabble game where I set up the time-lapse camera above the board. It's looking pretty good so far. Now pretty soon we're going to turn it. Now we turned it. Now we're just alternating it between each other. It's so confusing and moving around when you don't ever actually see it moving. So what I've learned is to just f not even focus, but to kind of observe the center mass of the board mm -hmm. and defocus your eyes a little bit, almost like you're looking either in front of it or behind it. And then you start to see like patterns emerge on the board that I can't tell you what I've seen until I, t I want to hear what you've seen before I tell you what I've seen. Okay. Because I keep looking at this pattern forming in this, on this board. It looks like an outline of a, like a cartoon character. Hmm. And then hmm. I just had it alternate frames back and forth. It kind of looks like it's alive. <laughs> like when I see it played back and forth, it kind of looks like it grows out. Till it hits a wall and then it goes, tries to get out again. Yeah, pulses. Salesy, salesy, salesy. salesy. salesy oh my gosh, salesy. yeah. Is that the word you're seeing the most? Yeah. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the fun thing to me is that there's so many words we could see and we fixate on certain ones. I completely forgot salesy was in there until you said that. Now all I can see is tweed. Tweed. I love... It was that one section where it was kind of like going back and forth. Salesy. 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 Mm -hmm. So salesy. See, that kind of looks like cartoon eyes. Mm. Oh, there we go. Now it's back to the beginning. Okay. So what I keep seeing is the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. When he's fully built, he just, he has like two antenna at the top. He's got two eyes kind of in the center. He looks kind of like he has fat rolls. Mm. Okay. And maybe he's smoking a hookah, and he's these vibrant colors underneath from the Scrabble board. <laughs> okay. So all together, that's what I keep seeing. But, and here it is, just I'm speeding it up and down so we can all kind of isolate motion. Sometimes it's playing backwards, sometimes it's forward. I just set it up a bunch of different uh, speeds and then had it play backwards and forwards. Not randomly, but with intent that I can't quite remember. I'll see a Ninja Turtle, but then I don't. <clears throat> I like that this... Oh, here we go. So now, let's see if we can see any different letters and numbers and patterns. Because now we're turning it almost like we turned the board when we were playing. Mm -hmm. I, I keep seeing... I'm, I have this bias towards seeing the first thing I saw, which is that caterpillar. Mm -hmm. I can read salesy pretty well. <laughs> but only because I know where it is. Layered, I can read that very well. Laird. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Scottish Lord. Yes. Of a house. Uh, d not necessarily royalty. Landowner. Land large owner. Land large owner. Large landowner. Don't need to be fat. Just they need to have a large amount of land. Yeah. Scotland's pretty big. They're not royalty. They're lairds. Lairds. So it reminds me of a bacteria culture growing. Mm. You know, you see them in like cell division and you see it get a little bigger on all sides mm -hmm. and it's 16 of mm -hmm. them. And if we had more letters. Oh, I like the colors. Oh, I inverted it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a really stark, pretty color effect. I mean, every color is just completely opposite of the one it was before. And this is, we're watching the same footage again and again. Oh, I see Toad. I see a Mario 1-Up uh, mushroom. <laughs> okay. A mushroom in the middle, like sure. um, the Mario one with sure. the red and the white. I totally see um, Toad, Toad's face. God, it's glitching out so beautifully, but I controlled this. This is by design. So black and white now. And when I noticed that the black and white kind of reminded me of a, a video game, it's similar to the Game Boy. And I thought, I was like, well, that's fun. I wonder what it would look like if I shrunk it down and made it like, how would this look if it was on a Game Boy screen? And I can still see. Oh, I kind of saw like a dog. Squid. A, do you see squid? I do. Squid. Thin squid. 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 Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, the, like, this is just inverted. This is just black and white. Yeah, it's easy it's on the It's much eyes. easier to read, mm -hmm. yes. So here's, here's the concept. Boom. Scrabble. Super Scrabble. 
So this is basically what we just made would look like in the video game. Okay. <clears throat> That's basically in 1998. I that could have played this. That still looks like our gameplay. Our... It is our game. I mean, what? How did you do that? Uh, that's what I was just doing in the Photoshop Amazing. and the stuff. Amazing. Right? And these images are uh, public domain. Okay. So I didn't even have to take these photos. I just had to take them into Photoshop and kind of make them do what I wanted to do. I didn't see any of the words. I just recognized the patterns. Ah, yes. And now here's what <laughs> it would look like if in this alternate reality there had been a color Game Boy Pocket. Uh, it would have looked like these. They didn't have That reality didn't exist. After the Game Boy Pocket, they went to the Game Boy Advance, which was a totally different kind of color. But yeah. Oh, and this is what it looked like on the original Game Boy with the yellow screen. I don't know if you ever had one of those, but it was it was either you could see everything in all green and yellow or all green and black. <clears throat> or maybe all yellow and black. Boop. Thank you for being here for this. <laughs>